Send it there. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Brett and Ed hello, from MoreGuitars.com. Hello, 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 hello. And we are excited to finally get to talk about the Fillmore 50. We um, are late to the game at making a video of this and the reason is totally innocent. We ordered a bunch and they shipped before we could make a video of them because I, I, we sold them out. What? I've done videos on this amplifier. You have? Yeah. You must have snuck some videos in. Yeah. You have. When you first got it in. Uh, and I did it with a guitar very similar to this one. Well, then why are we even making this video? Because it's worth it. It's so cool. <laughs> this is the selling point of this amp part. <laughs> glassy. Glassy, glassy. I mean, that's, to me, that was like the, the jaw drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really yeah. was. The amplifier, two channels, the clean channel, you know, we got a little bit of grit in there just to, you know, make it sound. Clean it up, see what oh, it yeah. sounds like. Ceasefire. <laughs> so now that I'm up back, I'm, I'm in on the game here. So what we did there, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves, but it's so much fun to play, obviously. Um, I was just tinkering with the gain. I had to adjust the master a little bit because we're going through some preamps, you know, and we don't want to blast them out. But, man, that thing sounds ridiculous. So the idea of this amp, once again, it's a 50-watt amp. You're able to bring it down to half power, yeah. which that's the badass thing about Mesa, uh, most Mesa amps is the variable yeah. wattage. Um, the, the, the bizarre, I guess you would say, bizarre thing about this amp is it's two identical channels. Yeah. And what, and there's a lot of re there are a lot of reasons you could need something like that. But my first reaction, and I'll, and believe you know, this is what a lot of people come in and, and are, are call and ask us is like, I want to be able to have like, maybe even an identical channel, but to add my pedals, certain pedals in, and it just change the tone a little bit. There's a bunch of reasons why you would want it. Do you have any other various reasons? To have a clone of the second channel, that would be the main thing that I would use, you know, especially if you've invested over time in, you know, really good, you know, uh, uh, gain pedals or boost pedals that effectively are a, a, a preamp. Yeah. You know, um, <coughs> because, I mean, if the, the, of course, if you use distortion on this amplifier, it sounds fantastic. But Absolutely. It's just giving you that much more versatility. Well, and, you know, the, what I, would venture to say is that you know some people like you know play, let me just let me just dial them in exactly the same and we'll just we'll, I'll just have some fun here real quick okay. I dialed them in to where I think this is a pretty cool little idea of what a, a, a person would want to use on stage so right now we've got kind of our original tone what we were doing before go ahead and play a little bit
So then, for a little boost in your solos or maybe a chorus when, you know, things are getting a little silly. <coughs> Jesus. So, you know, like a lot of times people talk about a pedal friendly amp, right? Yes, they get that a lot. So you're in this channel, you got the gain down a little bit and it kind of just opens up the, the paint, uh, the, uh, what am I trying to say? Opens up the palette, opens up the, and the canvas, the canvas. It opens up the canvas for whatever you want to add to it. So. That's, that's a cool thing, and you know, a lot of times, you know, you think about Vox amps, a lot of people say Vox ACs are, are pedal friendly, you know, and I think it's, it's, that, it's that ability to get that chiminess, a lot mm. of times is what people think is pedal friendly, because I think you, you get a good broad frequency range to where you can kind of do whatever you want, and then you can add EQs with pedals, you can take, you know, add drive and turn the tone down if you want to take that sparkle out of it, you know, and get it kind of... Yeah. muddy and mean yeah so um two 6l6 power tubes in this dude and uh and it is a lot of fun when you turn it up let's see what it sounds like a little bit when you bring the bring it to half power with this gain with the gainier side that we were just doing The cool thing about it, it's kind of like it's pretty close to the same tone. You yeah. Know, a lot of times it colors it or, it, you know, whenever you lower the wattage, mm -hmm. it, it screws your headroom. Yeah. You yeah. know, but this thing, it sounds like all the headroom's still there. I mean, if we got it gainy, you yeah. know, it's, it's pushing it. But whenever you boost, whenever you go up to 50 watts, it just feels like it, you're unleashing the demons. Yeah. You know what I mean? So do it again. Let's just hear it one more time. <laughs> I mean, if I was That's, sitting in a crowd and I heard that tone yeah. out in front, I'd be like, dude, this guy's got his act together, you know? That's some chimey tone. His poop. So let's go into the drive channel, what do you say? And, yeah. Or drive uh, voice. So let's go into the high gain and see what happens. So to me, play that again on your on your humbucker, and let me hear it again. That's that's amazing. So the a presence knob. If you think of another big brand of amps, another manufacturer. Okay, I'm not going to say the name, but whenever you think of a presence knob, what do you think of? Well, I have a lot of experience with an amplifier where the presence knob was really actually affecting the mid-range. Yep. And, yeah. The upper mids? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. whenever you turn it up, it kind of maybe got a little obnoxious. Yeah. 
Is that right? Yeah. I mean, do you generally keep it down a little bit, or I what do you do? Mids are helping me cut through the mix, so yeah. I actually sometimes people look and look, oh wow, this is, but yeah. But it, in the mix, it sounds amazing. Exactly. So you know, the vast majority of people playing these things are sitting at home. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to me, so what I'm going to do is have you play. I'm going to turn the presence all the way down, and let's listen to it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to slowly bring it up. Okay. And there's something about Mesa amps, especially this one, is it adds, it doesn't just add that mid-range. It adds a lot to it. Yeah. It adds a lot of fun. So let's do it. Okay. something to everything yeah. you know it does something to the gain it does something to the lows it yeah. does something to the mids it's, it's that's to me that's what presence should be make it more present yeah am i right i absolutely agree you, they, these harmonic overtones that you yeah, get in the yeah. amplifier like this that you know until you actually have heard it and experienced it and you realize like wow there's there's so something. much more sonic information you know. yeah and that's what bothers me about the other brand the manufacturer that i was thinking of we might be thinking of two different ones begins with an m <laughs> but whenever you crank up the presence on one of those it just seems like it's like the high mids and the highs just start like pushing through your eardrum and i just i don't dig that you yeah. know what i mean i i literally on my old amp I took the knob off of the pot just so I'd leave it alone and not yeah. fart with it. Because every time I turn it up, I hated it. Yeah. You know. So, but uh, but that presence knob is amazing. So this amp has an effects loop. So again, that makes it even more pedal friendly. Mm -hmm. Tube driven reverb. Long reverb, spring. right? There it is. And trust <laughs> me, that's gonna happen. You getting it out of the trunk of your car to go play the gig? It happens every time, right? right. It happens every time. So it doesn't hurt the amp. We're not, we're not being abusive here, are we? No. It's pish posh. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting for you to say that for a while. So anyway, so tube driven reverb, effects loop, uh, reverb pedal that comes with it, right? Mm -hmm. A single, single foot switch, I believe. Or, no, it, it has a multiple. Yeah. Yeah, to change the channels. Yeah, yeah. yeah so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to catch up. You guys did a video without me. I don't like it. So anyway, so this is a huge bang for your buck, single 12 in this dude. And it's, you know, this is the amp that the Mark series has been, you know, they put it on the website as saying they've been wanting to build this amp for a long yeah. time. But yeah. the Mark has just been doing its thing for so long. Yeah. And now with, uh, with the uh, California Tweed doing a lot of the old stuff. Yeah. And they're doing it right. It's good stuff. Adding I mean, some more nice functionality. Is. So... Anywho, yeah. are we good here? I'm Do we good. feel like we've done enough? Do you feel like we've done enough, Larry? Yes. Yes. He says I'm yes. just like grinning. I love it. It's cool, yeah. man. Yeah. And I, I'm waiting for Rob to play his live, man. He's, get, he's getting Did he get old, one of these? Yeah, he's getting no his old shit. band back together. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that was his rig. Yeah. He, yeah, he got it. So. Nice. Anyway, so here we are with the Fillmore 50 from Mesa Boogie. Uh, we have it here in stock at moreguitars.com. Please call, chat, email, whatever you need to do to get in touch with us. We're here to help. We are the friendliest people. We have the best return policy. We, everything gets a full inspection before it goes out the door. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that little notification thing so you get the notifications. Always feel free to call us. We're here to help. Most importantly, right now, take the 20 seconds it, it takes to go to moreguitars.com and that's M-O-O-R-E, and subscribe to our website, our email list. You get daily arrivals, so when stuff like this comes in, you'll be the first to know. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get helpful emails. You'll get deals, coupons, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you sign up for that. It's important. MoreGuitars.com. We're always here to help. Thanks, Ed. You're My the man. Pleasure, indeed. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thanks, guys. See you.